Hey guys, I have another unboxing for you today. We're gonna be opening the Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain Collector's Edition, which I am super fucking excited about because you get snakes of robotic arm inside, or bionic arm, whatever the fuck, which is awesome. But first we're gonna take a look at the outer packaging, but I think it's best done without the glare of the camera. So we're gonna take off the uh, over wrap that protects it. Super easy, I got the nails, I can do it. Uh, so it comes with this uh, cardboard piece on the front of it with little stickies uh, that tells you what it is. It's the collector's edition, uh, Tactical Espionage Operations, which is the uh, subtitle of the game. All for revenge. Nine years after the fall of Mother Base, legendary hero Snake wakes from a coma. Together with Ocelot and Miller, he must rebuild Mother Base and establish a new armed force, Diamond Dogs. Only then will he have his revenge on Cypher. The Phantom Pain brings an explosive conclusion to the Metal Gear Solid 5 experience. Which is fucking awesome because you get to play as Big Boss and shit. So, we have explore a vast world, unleash diamond dogs, build and defend mother base, and infiltrate enemy territory. But enough about the game! You guys know Metal Gear Solid's fucking awesome. Let's see what I get with the collector's edition that you don't with just the regular game. We have collector's edition includes... We've got a map, which is pretty cool. It's like a map of the whole area. Collectible steel book. Now, I'm not sure if this is actually steel, but it says it's a steel book, which is cool. In itself, it's got the game disc and a collector's disc with Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. I don't know if the game is different or if it's just like collectible information about how the company made the game and Konami and all that shit and blah, Hideo Kojima. Hideo Kojima. Hideo Kojima is what I'm trying to say. Um, it has a half-scale replica of Snake's bionic arm, which is the best part by far, I'm sure. And then it has a customizable Venom Snake emblem, which is part of the additional game content, as well as Snake costume times four, so there's a bunch of different Snake costumes. Cardboard box times three, and it even has a little bit of camo on it, the cardboard box. It's the best. Uh, weapon and shield set times four, and MGO item times four, so you get different items and stuff, and it looks like... Uh, you have like some golden guns and stuff, which is pretty cool. Uh, multiplayer has 1 to 16 players. As you know, uh, Metal Gear Online is a thing now. And uh, the campaign mode is one player, as always. So let's take off this little overwrap thing here, the cardboard overwrap, and show you the actual collector's edition and what it looks like. So it's got a bunch of sticky things all over it left from the cardboard, which I don't really like. Like, how are you supposed to ever get that off? It's like that, that booger-looking... Um, glue that I think you can just, I think you can just roll it off so it's not gonna actually, yeah, okay, so you just roll it off and it doesn't actually affect the collector's edition, but you do have a lot of little booger looking things laying around, so if you bring a girl over, make sure you clean that shit up before you do, because she's gonna think you're a nose picker, which is not a good thing. How you open it is you basically just go like this. You just open it up sideways. Ooh! Alright, so on the inside we have the game, and this actually like falls out. Like that, you see? It's pretty cool. I like the packaging on the inside. Even though the arm is in this like stereotypical plastic, you can always just take that out. So we'll take it out first before we start playing with the book and stuff. This is half scale, by the way, not full scale. So it's made of plastic, but it's pretty cool. You can actually move all of the fingers and all of the joints in the fingers. Uh, let's take this protective wrapping off. There we go. And there's, as always, protective wrapping in the base. So you put it on there and it's it's like a collector's item. It's not necessarily something that you can wear. Well, it isn't at all something you can wear, which would be cool, but you do get to play around and pretend that you have Snake's bionic arm, which is pretty sick. And you can bend the fingers back, which anyone who can do this in real life is kind of gross, but I really think it's cool. It is made of plastic, but it is super fucking cool and it seems pretty durable, so that's cool. Next, we're gonna take out the things right here that are on the right side. We have Metal Gear Solid The Phantom Pain. It's just the game. And then this is a metal book and it's super shiny. Do you see this? It's fucking awesome. Look how shiny it is. And you open it up and this is the collector's disc. And it says, spoiler alert, the Phantom episode, King of the Flies, contains many critical spoilers from the game. It is highly recommended that you complete all main missions in game before completing this chapter. So it's an extra chapter that you don't get unless you buy the collector's edition, which is really fucking cool. Definitely worth it. Uh, behind everything, is there anything else to get? Nope, that's pretty much it. So you get all the extra content, you get the in-game goodies, and you get this awesome collectible bionic arm and a really cool box that holds it all. I would say it's definitely worth purchasing the collector's edition if you're a huge Metal Gear Solid fan like I am. Now I have to find a place to keep this. 
All of the places that I keep my gaming paraphernalia are like full. So much so that I need to move to a bigger house. Just for that reason. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and check up in the top right corner for all of the information. There's a little eye icon that you can click on to get a bunch of different cards so you can click and see other unboxings and whatnot. Also, Snake and I say bye bye Corny, I know. Oh my god, he's got me! I knew Snake was a pervert. <sighs> Snake! 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 No, that's not him dying. That's what girls sound like in bed with him. Fuck you guys. Peace out. Live long and prosper. Two in the pink and one in the stink? <laughs> the possibilities with this are endless.